<laughs> All right. Yeah. Ready right. for the podcast. Ready for baby. the day, dude? Yeah. Yeah? You ticklish? Yeah, stop. No. You ticklish. Justin, please. <laughs> Justin, 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 stop. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his, his legs are on me, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gangster no more. You got to take it. I got it. I got it. Like when it gets dark, they just go to sleep. For real? Is it scratching you right now? Mm -mm. Like it's just, I'm gonna touch his foot, hold on. Will it wake up if I touch it? Pat his back. <laughs> oh, no, didn't fall asleep. Zach will just walk in and sit down with yeah. it. Yeah. Check, check. Check, check one, check. two, three. You hear me, dog? You got me? I feel like I can't even do this no more. Like, I feel like I can't do anything cool. Nothing cool. <laughs> you know how like every time Jesse comes on and we have like a video of him dancing or him yeah, saying like it's yeah, a good day? Yeah. yeah. We're just gonna do that to you now with mm. the chicken. Mm. <laughs> He's gotta get that like that you now he did the little cutout with uh Jesse, Jesse dancing. Yeah. He's gotta do that with uh Easy. It'll you be and him the like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we had I don't even know if we made a big deal of it when Ellie Turner was uh, when she thought Theo was gonna run her over on the when she was on skates, and we we looked at her face like, oh Ellie's face. You got <clears> it on video. I did frame by frame of that mm -hmm. of me, and I was like, yo, that was way worse. I was like, <laughs> like I was. I don't. It gives me the heebs, bro. Like heebie jeebies, like crazy. Oh, freaking Theo's just running around the set right now because he still smells the chicken. No chickens were harmed in the filming of this. <laughs> <laughs> Zach might have been. Yeah, Zach might. <laughs> there might have been a Zach harmed. I just had adrenaline dump for real. <laughs> what was going through your mind when I threw it? <laughs> uh, my my entire life, like was I thought it, about. Was it slow motion? <clears throat> yeah, I thought I flashed back to like you just like sell like the wings. Just <laughs> the, my first CrossFit open workout. I was like, wow, all this time <laughs> built me to this one moment right here. You realize that like it can't hurt you. No, I don't realize that actually. If I'm being honest. <laughs> Like when it when its feet are on your leg, I let it peck me. I know, but the claws I threw it on you and out. it landed on you. Do you have any scrapes? No, it, I don't know. It's not the actual factual. It's the thought of it. You know, how some we can bring this to working out. You know, how some workouts look like you're about to die. Yeah, and then you do it and you don't. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean <laughs> you don't think you're gonna not die. You see it and you're like, yo, I'm about to die. It's over for me. I guess. <clears throat> fears are weird, man. I just, like, accept that people have fears. I do not try to understand them. Yeah. I, whatsoever. I, oh, yeah. That's a great topic, Justin. What? What is your biggest fear? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got nobody understands this one. <laughs> I got a fear of boats, like big boats. And I've always, like, like, I think Wadapalooza was probably one of the times that I kind of realized it because you're in the bay and you're looking out and there's like these huge cruise ships. Uh-oh, Theo's, Theo's tingled up. Here we go, Theo. All 
All right. But there's those huge cruise ships out there, and I'm like, you know what? Like, it would take a lot of money for someone to bet me to, like, swim up and touch the boat. Mm, like, it's I so it's so big. And then I start thinking about, like, dude, like, what if you had goggles and you could, like, see under the boat? That's I'm like, scary. dude, it's huge. <clears throat> it would be crazy. And then, like, thinking about, like, the freaking propeller, yep. like, underwater. And getting stuck underneath it. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just scrolling through Instagram one day. And it said sub mechanophobia, mm-hmm. and it was like fear of <coughs> like big boats or like man made objects underwater. And I was like, that freaks me out. Like, if yeah. there was like a shipwreck <clears throat> and I knew it was under me, I'd have trouble swimming over it. <laughs> Do you think because like Jaws is in it and it's gonna come out and say what's up? I just think it's because like I, I don't know, like, mm. I can't see. Like, if it was, like, crystal clear blue water and I was just swimming through a shipwreck, it would be cool if everything was lit up. But, like, that's not how the ocean is. Like, it's dark. It's not clear because we pollute the hell out of it. And (laughs) you can't see anything. (laughs) It's scary. Yeah. That's the same as a chicken, man. Same thing, bro. Is that your biggest fear of chicken? <laughs> exactly. What's a, what's, what is fear of chicken? I don't know. That has to be like a... Da- Dallas will put it on the screen, whatever it I is. I know. I just want to know, though. I don't want to have to wait to watch this back to know what it is. It, uh... My phone's frozen. I think it may be birds, though, for real, because I've only touched a few birds in my life, if I'm being honest. And that, that chicken situation is not it. I don't know if Ma- I Make up a name fears. right now. What's fear of chickens? Chickophobia. No. Come on now. It has to be, I think it would be like a bird. Dude, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Arachnophobia? Phallobia. What's, what's arachnophobia? That's a That's thing. spiders. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it's electrophobia. A-L-E-K-T-O-R-O. Phobia. Electorophobia? How do you pronounce that? People are going to think I'm an idiot. <laughs> Electorophobia? Okay. Electorophobia? That's what I think it is. A fear of hens and chicken. <clears throat> yeah, Big Mama. She's out there, man. She be <laughs> puffing those feathers up, bruh. Give me but the thing that's nice is I'm confronting it. I I, I held a chicken you have, twice you, now. You've you know done I mean? good. Yeah. How many submarines you swam I, over, bruh? <laughs> None. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> how many boats you touched, bruh? Dude, like, but like I don't I'm not scared to like go on a boat, I guess. Like, I grew up wakeboarding and yeah, doing yeah, yeah. stuff like that. But in the water, touching it. Yeah. Um, like, big ones. Yo, you know, it's actually, you've been very supportive, first and foremost, of my chicken venturing. <laughs> all right? You've been, like, you know, giving me, dabbing me up. Hey, uh, hey, hey the first like, thing did I good, did, dog. the first thing I've done bad was throw the chicken on you right no, now. No, I think that, that helped me get over the, <laughs> the flapping part is, like, like, a next level. <laughs> it helps to just be confronted with your fear and not just be, you know, tentative all the time and hanging out on the side and afraid. If, if um, day one, though, I threw the chicken at you, that yeah, probably, been, that probably would put you back. But, but we we've, been, up. we've been building there. Yep, we're getting there. Yeah, You're like my uh, yeah, my chicken sensei, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're teaching me the ways of the chicken, man. Right? <laughs> that chicken, that, that boom, blah, blah. Um, you remember in, uh, in Finding Nemo? You guys know that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Don't touch the butt. Go touch that butt, baby. <laughs> <laughs> they were scared to touch the butt, too. They were. <laughs> you would have been right there with them. Anyways. Yeah. In Finding Nemo. Wow, bro. Dang. Dude, are we, still, are we still in the middle? What do yeah. you think, Dallas? What do you think? Theo's knocking this thing over. In Finding Nemo. Hey, no, you're not eating that. You know how they show, like, the barracuda thing in yeah. the beginning? Because they're, like, the ones that ate the... Well, they don't eat fish eggs. Oh. Really? So they lied in a Disney like, movie? You know Motherf- what do eat fish eggs? Other other humans? Clownfish. Other clownfish, right? Yep. For real. Yeah. So you know who probably ate them all? <laughs> the mom. The mom. <laughs> <laughs> that would have made a dark show. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> this is real, bro. That's real? Yeah. The mom ate her own babies? I mean, well, we're not saying that. Say that it, but like I mean, but fish. that's what you're, you know, you're saying. Though, Good. Bro. Yeah. I mean, it's, that's more likely than a barracuda. And so Marlon left her and took Nemo. <laughs> he said, I'm going to save my one. Exactly. Dang. Got or the he one just. With the small fin, too. Yeah. Frick, out of all of them. That's because she tried to eat that one, too. He couldn't <laughs> yeah. get it. You're right. Marlon we, never, Carter. we never saw who was the one actually doing the eating. Mm. Anyways, all right, let's get to 
<laughs> not I want to say back on topic, but we never had a topic in the first place. But one thing we do talk about, we just came out with a YouTube video this past weekend, but we ran through all the team semifinal workouts as individuals. Zach, you did. I didn't run through all of them. You did two or one? Two. 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 We, we did. In so like a 20 minute window too. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll pull them up and put all the quarterfinal workouts in this area. All the ones you did? Well, yeah. we did all the team ones. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You want the team ones up? Yeah, we'll just put the team workouts up. But we did, um, what was the first one we did? Uh, the muscle one, every two minutes. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that was a team workout. So it was five sets on the two minute, uh, 10 burpees over bar, 10 front squats, max ring muscle ups. Yeah. Which is good, dude. I looked at, I think Noah's team. I, Adam asked me, like, hey, what do you think the top score is going to be? Because, like, we had probably like a minute 15 of muscle were, up time <clears throat> you were like 45 seconds per ish because no, a two minute timer yeah yeah so, so that i had, had a minute 15 yeah, left yeah, yeah, yeah. and math baby math and then like so if you're on a team you're you can pretty much do muscle ups that whole time because mm-hmm. like one works one rest how many do you think uh nose team got because i think they won that workout overall hold on hold on so in the team like if we were to do it together we have to do 10, 10 each or just, I think together like synchro. I'm not sure. Okay. But I know like for the muscle up part of it, it's we can like, break it up however we want. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like I'm going to do go. a set. As soon as I come down, you hop right up back and okay. forth. Um, <clears throat> and then it's just total reps, total reps for, so like, yeah, I'll say but that then like, it would be, it'd be like four people total though. Cause there's yeah, yeah, two yeah. teams, but one person can work at a time. So you're just not going to reach yeah. failure. Um, I would say somewhere like in the 60 ish. 60-ish. Per person. For four people. No. I thought it was total reps. It is total reps. Okay. So you're saying what but each I person got, got? I got over 60 just by myself. I'm telling you, with a team of four, what do you think everyone got? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, Yeah, I would, I would say for a team of four, if all of the things only count, like males, I'm thinking males. Yeah. Two guys. That's yeah. what I thought. It's not that? Or it is? Yeah, no, well, two guys, two girls. Okay, dope. Um... Double 70, 70 and 70, 140. Come on, 140. Dude, it's like 200 and like oh one or God. something like that. They got total. Wow. Which I each? guess makes sense because, like, if I got over 60, I bet you I was almost work rest on my muscle ups. So then that's like 120 at least. And then the girls would have to get 80 if the guys got 120 total. Damn. So the guys got 60? Yeah. Well, they pr- maybe got 60 each. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm Noah talking probably, individual. N- Noah probably got like 70. I only got 44. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was, a good, got, it was a good workout. I mean, I don't think that we're going to see probably even a variation of any of them for individuals. I think we're all going to see different workouts. But they're just working CrossFit style workouts. So we kind of hit two on... Adam and Trista got in Thursday, and then Friday we hit two, and Saturday we hit two. The other one we hit on Saturday, so we did that one first, and then right after it we did the 50-30-20 of dumbbell snatch toes and to toes to bar. Yeah. Which was, was which was nasty. For some reason, after the muscle-up one, I was, like, pumped up in my forearms, and I was like, all right, well, <laughs> we uh-huh. just... <laughs> Do you want to go into details why, what the reason you think it is? Or no? I mean, we can. I was uh, I was trying out a new pair of grips, and, like, I think it's more so I'm just, like, so used to my old ones, but they just, like, were a little bit thicker than the ones that I had before, and I think it's just kind of like holding a little bit of a thicker ring, and I think it just pumped the heck out of my forearms, and then I switched back to my old ones for the toes-to-bar dumbbell snatch workout, and my grip wasn't really a factor at all. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was fatigued, but... Yeah, it was different it was on that though. workout. There, uh, that workout, <clears throat> yeah, I just, just like total volume of workouts that kind of gets to me, if I'm being honest. That's what causing me to slow down or break things down. 70 pound dumbbell, yeah. What yeah. did you do on the first set of 50? I did, I did the whole workout, I did the same. I you did, did 10s? I did 10s the whole, whole time. The whole, whole yeah, time. The whole workout. Yeah. Cross not, it, not cross the it fast for, way to do it. Yeah. Know? Cross it for Vancouver has a team. We'll have to put the video up. They were doing that workout, and it's synchro, I'm pretty sure, in the workout, and they're both on the toes-to-bar. At the same time? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing toes are on the same thing. The freaking pull-up bar breaks. <laughs> like completely breaks and they're like still on it and it just like <laughs> broke off and then they had to like move and just like hop on another set of uh like a pull-up bar and like finish it out. That tummy goes <laughs> it was in crazy. That situation. Yeah. Oh damn. Dude, you can like see him go and the bar is like <laughs> and it goes kunk and just like falls off on one side. Dang. It's gnarly. I have the video, we'll we'll put it up, but it was gnarly. Dang. I think uh they said that they were like fourteen or something, their time. Or are we not saying that? I don't know. I mean, I, th- I mean, it's all going to be done. Yeah, they're all said done. and done by the time it's in. Yeah, fourteen or something. Yeah, I'm I was not like, sure how it was, but it's like everybody goes through, and I got through in twelve. <laughs> <So> <laughs> like four people get through at the same time as me. Crazy. Um, good. Yeah, those workouts were tight. I think. Yeah, it was, was fun. fun. You you had to bounce for the rest of the weekend, but yeah. we ended up doing the next two the following day, which I'm trying to even remember what they were. We did a deadlift. And shoulder overhead one, and we did one other one. What's the other quarterfinals workout? How am uh, I already forgetting this? No, the I wall saw. ball one, right? Oh it, yeah, it was the like handstand push up one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we did. Uh, the other one was a 500 meter row, 50 strict handstand push ups broken up as a team, and then 50 wall balls. You rest the time that it takes you, and then you go back through the opposite way. So. But we did it individually and just did the workout as is. So we just did 500 meter row, 50 handstand push ups, 50 wall balls, rest, and then go 50 wall balls, 50 handstand push ups, 500 meter row. But dude, that wall ball handstand push up combo was real. Shoulder sizzle? It was real, real. <laughs> like, first set, I like hop up there. I think I do it in like two sets of 50 or two sets for 50, um, like a 35 15 or something like that. Come down, hit the wall balls. I'm like, on the wall balls, I was like, whew. I did like a quick 35-15 again. I like <laughs> dropped it. And I was like, well, that wasn't what I expected to happen. And then you like resting up. And I'm like, dude, my shoulders are smoked. This from the beginning? Yeah. So then I started the wall balls. I think I did 35-15 just to start. So I was like, dude, these handstand push-ups are going to be gnarly. Even though they're kipping. So I did 35-15 on the wall balls. Got back to the uh, handstand push-ups. And... Let's just say I did not do it in two sets. <laughs> it was crazy. It was such a weird workout, though, because it was so pumpy for, like, the wall balls and handstand push-ups. And then you just get on the 500-meter row and just empty it. Oh, my gosh. You know, like, it, pulling in the 120s, just trying to finish, like, the last, like, 500. It was crazy. Did it feel like you were, like, the the things you use in the row are, like, untouched for the whole workout? Or yeah, like no, 100%. Like, yeah. you're a little, like, just fatigued overall, but, like, nothing that really, like, <laughs> hinders your row, you get fatigued. So, so the I, row, like, really hurt. Yeah, the row, the row was bad. Dustin wasn't there for the row. He was <laughs> Yeah, I was just eyes going. closed, dude. <laughs> yeah, that one was gnarly. So we did that one in the morning Saturday, and then after it we did – the deadlift handstand push-up, or the deadlift shoulder overhead, which I thought was pretty fun. Um, three rounds of 15 deadlifts at 315 for guys and uh, 15 shoulder to overhead at 185. Real but tight. after the weekend, because we did the workouts and we did Jesse sessions and, like, all the other stuff as well, but I was freaking – those deadlifts got hard. Like, it was, like – I did 10-5 in the beginning, knocked out my freaking shoulder to overhead, and then those next two rounds on the deadlifts were freaking spicy. Spicy. <laughs> spicy quesadilla. What if you came out in a CrossFit workout doing sumo deadlifts? That'd be sick. At, can you do that, actually? No. They, they always say that, like, your hands have to be outside of oh, your yeah. knees. Oh, uh, okay. What I'd be curious. I really, wide grip, bag. I don't know. I really wish they would, like. It'd be so funny. Like, let them do it or let people do it for an event. CrossFit already gets banged on too much for anything. And then you add sumo deadlift crowd to hate on that, too. Right. It's like, I mean, it's true. Over. I mean, I, I see it. But it's still like. It'd be like calculated if you could. Because then you'd be like, well, in this workout, what? it'd be better to do conventional. But in this workout, it'd be better to sumo. Cause, and it, it's, it's I don't know weird? if I'd ever do sumo like in like a CrossFit style workout. But like for a max and stuff. Oh, yeah. It'd be interesting because like for me. Like, you guys saw the the powerlifting meet that I did, but I never, like, I've pulled sumo my whole CrossFit career. I started working with Jesse and started training it, and, like, 
we've been this is year four with him and this is the first year that my sumo finally got stronger than my conventional maybe i haven't even messed out my conventional but like it's like it's not just like oh yeah sumo is easier like you got to train it and yeah. like i think certain people are better at sumo and certain people are better at conventional but like you have to train them to be good it's not like just conventional is easier because there's people that like pull conventional and if they tried to pull sumo it's not like they're just gonna pull more yeah no, the thing with with it is there's more room for error in a sumo i feel like so if your lines off you get pulled forward in that sumo you're not gonna lift as much as you do conventional and yeah you, know, you have you know? to like really 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 know how to do it like yeah. just going from conventional to sumo you're sumo not just is transition harder well. yeah off the floor yep but then, obviously, the lockout gets a little bit easier, where conventional is the opposite. It's easier off the floor. Like, for conventional, once you get it over your knees, like, or, like, from, like, top of your shins to, like, above your knees, like, that's kind of where you're going to fail, whereas, like, sumo, it's, like, below the knee. Like, yeah. you're just not going to probably get it off the ground. Yeah. Or get is it, like, going to come off the ground? Uh, uh, oh, no. no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, but we train, I mean, we train both. Oh, yeah, no, Pretty 100%. Routinely, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. every week we're pulling both. Yeah. Um, it, it's weird that in cross, like we were saying, oh, that'd be dope if, you know, you could do that. And like CrossFit, you remember the, was it nine foundational movements? Like Sumo de la Hypo was in that movement. I know. Man. Sumo de la Hypo suck. Sumo de la Hypo. When's the last time you did one? A while. <laughs> like, but they're rough. Like they're tough. Oh, hold on. Was it a regional workout? That 135 Sumo de la Hypo? I don't know. Not I feel like time. it's that far back. Yeah, I'd, nah, be, I'd be far back. Yeah. I feel like it would just be a hard thing to like put a standard yeah, on. Yeah, it's tough to put a standard on. Like you have to be like you like have this. to like hit your I don't know, <laughs> like <laughs> they used to be, I mean, around all the time. But at least like, you know, if even if you take the high pole out, we don't see sumo deadlift at all yeah. in CrossFit other than that. Yeah. Which is you know, something, you know, <laughs> catch bro breath. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. We, uh, on Sunday was the last day that we trained and we started the day with a 2K ski. Yeah. And I was telling Zach about it earlier. We did, me and Trista, or Adam and Scott went first and then me and Trista went second and like guys are better on the machines than girls. So she got like, let's say whatever her goal time was and my goal time was, whatever that difference was. Adam gave her that as a head start, and then it was my job to try to catch her by the end of it. And it literally came down to point oh one. Like, we both finished pretty much at the exact same time, because you can't tell point oh one difference. And we're, like, laying on the ground, and I can hear him, like, oh, my gosh, point oh one, And I'm like... If she freaking got me by .01, I'm like rolling on the ground. They're like, no, you got her. I'm like, thank God. But it was a really cool way to do it. And I didn't even know that you can do it until I told Zach this uh, this morning about it. And then what would you tell me about the ski? Yeah, on, on ski ergs, if you have uh, the same, I think whatever the year is, PM1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We all use PM5s now, but <clears throat> um, you can link them together and race. And you can see the other person's, it links through Bluetooth, so you can see the other person's monitor or and where it, they are. Yeah, it just gives you like two boats and it will say if you're like ahead or behind by however many meters. Yeah, and that... Or do it on cows, whatever you're doing. That would have been pretty interesting. That would have been sick. I didn't even know it did that. But it's tough, like, I was thinking like with Trista, it's hard to like get out and be the lead dog, you know what I mean? It's yeah. tough. That's like a hard thing to do. Um, and it's, it's hard to chase somebody down, but it's more fun to chase somebody down. Oh, for sure. But you guys couldn't see each other. So no, we like, had no it, idea where each other were at. So can. yeah, we literally just had to like send it in our own mind. Were but. they barking at you the whole time? Like you got 500 left, dude. Uh, uh, Adam was saying it, but like he would only say my meters out loud. <laughs> And I'm like, I don't, this isn't dude, helping. I don't just letting Sometimes Tristan I think know. he was saying Trista's and sometimes he was saying yours. But yeah. he wasn't saying who. He yeah. was just yelling out you meters. You just yelled out meters. So I was just like, what? You're like, it, that wasn't me. It must be them. I told him in the beginning, like, hey, can you let us know when we're each at, like, 1,500? Because I expect him to be like, Trista, 1,500. And then, like, 
I'm like skiing, skiing, skiing. And then it's like Justin 1500. So then she knows how far I'm at, but like he never did that for any of us. I was just like, Oh my That's Lord. That's kind of dope. Cause it makes it just like a true, you go, what you, what you go. Yeah. And it's cool to work out yeah. with other people and kind of finish around the same yeah. time. No, it was, it was super fun. Dallas said Scott and Adam, like the way they looked on the machine was so different, but dude, Scott had a really good stroke. Yeah. He said, Scott just looks so smooth and so yeah. he's like, it's nice to be long, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Adam had to work yeah. for every meter. He's just like pulling yeah. super hard. That's and barely Adam's, ahead of him. That's <laughs> Adam though. You know, yeah. it's freaking sending it. Scott Adam's is a long, man. He's long. Yeah. But he's super proficient. Like it's not just cause he was long. Like his, um, like actual like stroke was super like smooth. Yeah, it's tight. I think he he paced it too much though. Like a lot of the stuff, like he he just like at the end he had like a huge kick comparatively. Oh. Whereas like normally like you kind of hit your kick, but like you don't get that much faster. Yeah, you just kind of like are holding that pace because you stretch it instead of the last two hundred meters. You're like oh last twelve hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But yeah, and then we. Finished the weekend, the last workout, we finally did, like, the first workout outside on the turf. Like, I've done, like, some box jumps out there or whatever, but it's, like, either, like, the turf's wet, so you can't really work out because it's, uh, or, like, you don't want to do something that your time matters a lot. done some box jumps. You snatched 300 out there two weeks ago, bro. (laughs) Chill. Uh, I've done some snatching (laughs) on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I've done some (laughs) stuff on it that, like, it felt like. Normally when we're on like turf or something, I feel like I'm training for the games, you know, because like we'll go out to the field and uh, we'll go to like some turf football field out, out by the uh, feel big time. huh? Yeah. And yeah. you're like out there, you yeah. bring like you bring the sleds, you bring some wall balls, yeah. you bring some weights and like you spend like a whole session out there doing a bunch of different things because it's always like so much work to like pack up everything, move it. And now that we have it here, we like brought the GHDs outside, brought some dumbbells and we did three rounds for time. Um, 100 foot handstand walk, 100 foot dumbbell lunge, and 30 GHDs. But it was just like, it was sick. We had like two GHDs set up, like dumbbell lanes, and like, so tight. just did it. And like, it was a little cold. It's it's still not, <laughs> it's still not summer here. Dallas is like, yeah, it but was it's, chilly, uh, bro. But it's like enough to like, when you're working out, you can take off your shirt still, and you're good. I almost killed Justin, almost yeah. ended his career. Look at this. You mean almost like ended did everybody's me. career? Exactly. Y'all almost ended, <laughs> almost, almost disrupted the entire balance no, I was, in the universe? I was just being an idiot. Well, Dallas went and he was going to like take a video or a picture or something. So he like walked kind of to like the middle of the turf. And then I was kind of like messing with the dumbbells, getting ready to like do some handstand walks and warm up. And then I think Adam needed help with something or whatever. So like he like set his stuff down and like walked away. And like I saw him, like I remember seeing him do it, but I didn't really like think about it. And I think he set the cameras down like right on the black logo. So it did, wasn't like it was standing out. Yeah. And I just kicked up into a handstand and was just like walking and then freaking like punched one of his cameras. And like I got like a little cut on my finger, but it like legit like balled up in blood and was like dripping. Hold on. <laughs> and I had to make I had to make Dallas feel Hold bad. On. Yeah. As a person who also uses a camera a lot. <laughs> I'm going to flip my stance and be like, hold on. You hit his camera? <laughs> Bro, you hit his camera? Trust me, trust me, trust me. The first thing I did was look at the fucking camera. And I was like, <laughs> okay, let's make sure this is okay. I hit like, he has like a, a cage around it. Yeah. And I, I like saw my, like, I, it was like slow motion. Like I saw myself go and I like hit like the cage of the camera. Hey, do you feel like, because when things happen, and so, can you could you feel that? Like it hit and you're like, ah, I broke my finger or no, I did not feel like it broke. It just like, it was cold outside. So like my fingers were cold. Mm -hmm. And then when you hit like on something hard, it was just like that, like numb, swollen, like throbby feeling before the workout too. Yeah, dude, yeah. I literally thought like, as I set it down, cause there was stuff in the way. And so I wanted to move the stuff so I could take the picture and then. I, as I walk away, I was like, oh, I hope he doesn't start handstand walking. And I saw him kick up and I stopped walking and he just stood in place. Like he was just like in place. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I moved this. There's one of those ones in the pre warm up where you go to walk forward, but you just kick up and you like can't lean. You're like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought he was just chilling there. That's so a nice like, handstand oh. hold out. <laughs> we good. And so I moved this stuff and then Adam said something. I turned around and then I turned back around and Justin was running into the camera. Did your heart cry? No. Dallas, oh your heart didn't nah, It wasn't like. Oh, Dallas didn't even care about you, Justin. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I he was told like, me the story, my I ran right he, to the camera. Yeah, he so ran I didn't over the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, camera stuff is scary, though, for real. Dude, when we built the gym, bro, 
we have a friend Noah, which is like you can't describe Noah unless you just know Noah. But he also went viral on Barstool Sports. Yeah. And I don't put I the doubt video here. Yeah, we gotta find the video, but we're gonna put it up. But he freaking <laughs> oh! was on a bachelor party weekend and started acting like freaking King Kong and jumped on top of a golf cart. And like there was like a foursome, so like they had four golf carts, whoa, and he's whoa, 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 is this? Can we talk about foursomes on here? <laughs> <laughs> they had a foursome, <laughs> and he's jumping on top of each golf cart, and he gets to the third one, and it's like a gap gapped out from that one, and he goes to jump, and just gets like freaking, <laughs> like doesn't even make it, and then just flat backs it on the ground. <laughs> it was so good, and Noah's like, he's he's three hundred plus pounds. Like oh, he's boy. a he's a big boy, big boy. That's a man right there. Yeah. yeah he's he's a Hawaiian, though. He's like... Yeah. Well, that's a real man. Yeah, a real man. She who. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, he we were here putting up the rig, and then we needed something up top. So, like, Noah's just like, I'll go. And he freaking just starts climbing all the way up and is, like, up on top of the rig here. And then he ends up, like, coming back down, and Dallas had his camera sitting on one of the shelves, like, where, like, the uh, sandbags are. And just all here is like, do, 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 like onto the ground. And I like look over and his camera's on the ground. And I was just like, bro. Oh, no. Bro. <laughs> Your heart went. Oh, no. That one did it. Dude. My heart. Like, oh, God. <laughs> my heart sank because I know how much the camera is. <laughs> and like Dallas is way too nice to say anything. And you could tell like Dallas was red. <laughs> but like he didn't say anything. And uh, I'm like, we good, we good, we good. <laughs> like, hey, it's good. It's okay. But like, you know, he was like kind of scared to turn it on and see it just like. <laughs> oh, but it was fine. It was good. It was good. Yeah. Now, anytime I get bad footage, I'm like, remember that time? That's why. Yeah, yeah that's why. Yeah. 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 Messed yeah, up my camera. Bad. It's bad. It's bad. That's so oh scary, my bro. Gosh. Those little moments where it's yeah. like makes you pucker up. Yeah, the in between. Yeah. Lift, like <laughs> <laughs> these ones, bro. That yeah, that's tough. Yeah. Nothing like that now, though. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, you feel like we're on a different little trajectory. Life is different now. With what? Just life in general, man. Like, the life. little stuff like that. <laughs> little stuff? I mean, I try not to let the little stuff get to me. Yeah. I know, but it things things feel littler for me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I feel like... I, I think, like, even if it would have broke my camera, I, no, no, I no. wouldn't have been, like... Not even camera. I mean, like, think like 10 anything. years ago how that sure. how that would feel. It's well, yeah. Like because a much I, bigger deal. <laughs> because I had no money 10 yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Now it's not like... It's not like yeah, I'm Dallas, rich. we know you're balling no, 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 out of bro. control. <laughs> no, we already know bro. how much I Come make on, baby, go on. No, no, no. But it's just like, <laughs> hey, 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 make money's sure you not like as big of a deal. Uh, you know, like I can take care of my kids. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so that's like, I mean, I'd Wesley, be like, yeah, whatever. Wesley thinks you're broke. <laughs> so I'm going to hey. keep it that way. <laughs> I make my wife think that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Long you know, story God. short, Wesley <laughs> is, uh, th- you tell the long story short. Yeah, so Wesley's six. And he, wa- I don't know what he wanted. He wanted something. I told him we were broke because I bought a new camera. And then uh, he would just kept telling me every time I'd be sitting on the couch, you need to be working, Dad. We don't have any money. How are we going to buy food? And so for weeks, he would just ask me for money and be like, oh, wait, we don't have any money. But all he wanted to buy was like a little add-on to Minecraft. Yeah. And so he came downstairs one night in the middle of the night. was like, I think my tooth is loose. <laughs> I was like, it's not loose enough. It's good. He goes back upstairs, comes back downstairs like five minutes later, blood everywhere. <laughs> yes, sir. And get I was that like, money, I got my baby. tooth out. Hey, I hope the tooth money. fairy brings me six bucks. <laughs> get that money. <laughs> and so the tooth fairy somehow gave him six bucks. It was crazy. Hey, uh, when, when we were, they were just here on, what was that, Friday? Yeah. And they were, they were looking at Dallas when he was over, like sitting, chilling, like, you know, like, you show up before session starts, like you get the little lull time. It's like, hey, what's up? How y'all doing? Da-da-da. We'd just be in there kicking it, watching Justin eat for an hour. Um, <laughs> and and I don't know if it was Coop or Wesley be like, this is your work, Dad? Like, you're working? <laughs> Dad's like, yeah, this is me work. This, this is, is my is, job. That's yeah. what having a cool <laughs> job is. You know, I'm here working right now. <laughs> exactly. What's up? What are you wearing? My baseball jersey. Ooh. Hey. My right. baseball oh, game got canceled, so. Oh. <laughs> Dallas hanging out with us. That's the that's the easy part of the job. Then he's got to go home and edit it all. Yeah, yeah. Make Captures us, make easy, us you know actually mean? look good. Yeah. It, all this right now, yeah, is is not good right now. Dallas makes it good later. <laughs> yeah, he has to work. sit and listen to every single word that we say. You yeah, know Dallas I mean? listens to a lot of my voice. Yeah, I do. 
I do. Sometimes it's like, all right, Justin, I've heard enough. I can't even come over. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> how, how late at night do you got to cut it off? Like, I can't listen to Justin no more. Well, sometimes it's like, I'll set up times. Like, I'll be like, all right, tonight is the night that I'm just going to put in some hours. You know? Yeah, do yeah. that work, baby. Yeah, but uh, other times it's like, I try to get it done in the morning before I come over here. Punch that clock, baby. People are, what, that lady in the comments? Who was it? What's her name? Which one? I don't know. We'll pull it up. In the, in the truck video when we got... Uh, Grandpa George's truck, you know what I mean? <clears throat> She's like, does that work? Like, oh. <laughs> how's <laughs> he over there? <laughs> how is he there on a random Wednesday afternoon? <laughs> Hell yeah, that's my boy. You know what I mean? That's yeah. how I'm here, all right? Yeah. I'm here. I'll be around, baby. Time management. Yeah. <laughs> no, terrible at that. But <laughs> it, Nah, being around is awesome, man. It feels good. Yeah, no, we got a, we got a good crew. And next week is about to be you. Oh, it's going to be real good. I know. Bro, I'm so hyped. Yeah. I'm so hyped. This is going to come out like a couple days before because if you guys know, we pretty much film everything like a week ahead. Yeah. Ahead. Yeah. 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 So um, this is like the last week here. We're going to, today is Monday. On Saturday, we're headed out to um, Vancouver. Zach's coming with me yeah. and we're going to hey, hit I'm coming. I'm going with them. All right. I'm going with them. Me. I'm going with the champ, baby. Me. <laughs> I'm going. I'm riding up, baby. Yeah. Me. Riding up with the champ, baby. <laughs> This is going to come out hopefully before Saturday, but I was telling on uh, the other video, I was like, we're, maybe we'll go like a YouTube live or something on the way. It's like six hours. Yo, yeah. Pass some time. I'm telling you, it's, I don't know. I'm so excited, bro. It's crazy. Like, I'm more excited for this than, I don't know, anything in my personal life other than kids and stuff like that. This is like, I love gyms, first off. First and foremost, I love gyms. I love new cities, second. And I like you guys a lot so it's gonna be really fun to do all of those things at once yeah yeah it's we're gonna, gonna leave I'm saturday which that'll be a rest day for us we'll train sunday monday there to kind of like shake out the cobwebs um tuesday rest day and then start hitting on wednesday workouts come out we're on the west coast so they're gonna come out at noon and if they're pretty gnarly we'll might hit just like one wednesday one thursday one friday one saturday we have until monday It'll almost feel like, I guess, like a deload <laughs> week if you just do one workout a day. But depending on what they are, I mean, I hit the the team ones in two days, just two each day, and, like, they felt great. And I did them both back-to-back, -back, like, each day. Yeah, like, we just didn't... took, like, a 10, 15-minute break and then hit the next one. And I, I won't do that for, for quarters. Like, I want to, uh, like, have a good showing. But also, like, it'll be cool. I know, like, hopefully for me – Quarters is not, like, something that I'm stressed about, <laughs> about making it to the next stage. But we got some people on our team, like uh, like Mac and Trista, where, like, this is, a, like, this is like their semifinal, you know, for me. Because, like, semifinals is real. No matter how many times you've been to the games, whatever it is, like, you got to show up and compete there so you can punch that ticket. And that's, like, their quarterfinals. You know, like, they both made semifinals last year, but we had 120 in North America last year. And now we're only getting 80. And they're both yeah. way fitter than they were last year. But there also was one less workout, which is also pretty interesting. I mean, I think like you saw teams, there was no double scored events. But I'm hoping for individuals there's at least one double score because like, it's hard to get a well-rounded test in four events. And especially if you make one of them like a strength test then it's like well you only have like three other crossfit -y ones so hopefully this strength test is like mixed in with some like workout or like one of those like open workouts we've seen where like the barbell starts light and ends pretty heavy or, or you hit something for time and have a chance to max out in the remainder or something like that because four workouts is, is not is not it's hard to get a well-rounded test and like you see all like uh i know morning chalk ups put it up um a list of every movement that's been in every single quarterfinals and like you got GHDs, rope climbs, like dumbbell lunges, um, I think handstand walks, double unders, like there's just so much. And especially with the open this year being, I think so simple, I don't think we're going to see a crazy quarterfinals, but there's still so much that they can test. Like, I feel like there wasn't, we like, it was very well rounded, but there was nothing like specifically tested. Like there, like gymnastics weren't tested, strength wasn't tested. Like yeah. I guess you could have like endurance was tested a little bit, but like there's a like skill stuff, man. There's just like a lot on the table, which will be cool. I mean, like listen, I've seen Boz um, talking um, 
and he seems like he's really excited. He said, like, the workouts are going to be really cool. Everyone's going to be able to do them, but you're really going to be able to see, like, what, like, professionals do uh, on some of these workouts, which makes me think there's, like, one of those workouts where you kind of, like, earn your way to the next thing. Yeah. Um, In your head, do you think about it? Because the structure of this year is different than the years prior. Um, At least what they're doing to open shorter workouts and when you think about it in terms of like an overall season, do you like kind of having everything broken up over a longer period of time? Like you're not going to retest different elements of fitness throughout the course of the season is what it's kind of looking like. Or do you, would you like to see more do similar movements in the open and similar movements in quarterfinals and similar movements in semis? Or do you like kind of having it like generic, a little more specific, extremely specific and then games? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously there's going to be certain things that show up in each stage, but uh-huh. I think each one needs to be like a well-rounded test. Like, I don't think, like, if you win the games and let's say we did a nasty rowing workout this weekend, like, they, they can't just not test rowing again at the games because we already did it. Oh, I got you, I got you, It's, I got it's you. like, it's like yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah. is like, <clears throat> like in the open, like, I think you should test gymnastics strength and conditioning but that doesn't mean that you like max out and do muscle ups and do a nasty 20 minute workout like gymnastics means like like i don't even know like any type of like burpee pull up yeah, or bo- any body weight yeah movement, like body weight movement and strength just like like that that thruster workout like it wasn't anything crazy crazy heavy but like you had to be strong to lift it you know yeah. and i think it's just when you look at the open you just look at the type of athlete in the community that you're programming for and then make a well-rounded test for that. And now that we're at the top 25% for quarterfinals, like, all right, well, now we might be able to do things like rope climbs or GHDs or wall walks or handstand walks. So it's like now you start to add those things in. And then once we get to semis, like that starts getting bigger again. And then obviously at the games, it's like anything's on the table, you know? I feel you. I like, And, And especially with like, the open only being three workouts, um, quarters now four, maybe five, and then semis ranging from like five to seven, eight workouts. Like, who knows? But I think each one needs to be a well rounded test. I think uh, <clears throat> I'm excited for like watching. I, I won't say watching. I'm not. Hold on. I'm excited to do these workouts. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> but I'm excited to see Mac this year. Because, like, last year, him making it was so dope. The yeah. way he made it was so dope. Yeah. Mac, went, Mac was in the paint last year. <laughs> it was it's tight. I didn't even know Mac for real until you posted, like, the video of when he made it, bro. Got me all, like, like a little, you know what I mean? That that was dope. That it was, was really crazy. Dope. It was um, crazy. So I'm excited with how he's developed through the year to see his progression this year through quarters and through semis, like, through the season. Yeah. Um. I'm excited to participate and partake in the same process myself. And with, with the thing I said to Adam when he was just out here, it was like, my goal is to do quarterfinals, um, you know, give a go, do the best I can. And then I have, I have the open, which was three workouts. This will be four, potentially five math, 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 math. Yeah. Right there. (laughs) You know what I mean? Puts me there that many. Um, And that gives me like a, here's where I am right now. Yeah. So moving forward throughout training the rest of this year, it's like I have a you know I have a decent little catalog of my weaknesses. We you know from training with Adam, you know your weaknesses were wall balls and rowing, bro. It wasn't <laughs> yeah. a mystery. Yep. You know what I mean, but it wasn't a mystery because you did workouts where you struggled with those for things. For sure. You know what I mean, it wasn't yeah. like oh this is where I'm weak, or this is where I think I'm weak. It's like no, this is where I haven't performed yeah. well. And it's cool too because like I was watching Dave talk about the open and stuff. And talking about the importance of redoing, like redoing workouts, yeah. Which I think a lot of people might not redo a lot of workouts if you're doing classes and stuff. But when you get to the open, I think, like he said, like it's okay to like bias towards retesting workouts, which I agree with. Like it's cool yeah. to see where the bar moved for the individual, but then also like as the community, you know, yeah. like. Like, what was the the median score or the mean score, like, in 2019? And, like, what is it now on that workout? You know, yeah. like, it's pretty cool to see, um, like, what consistent training is, what, like, 
the people at the top, how much they did improve and, and everything like that. And I think the open is pretty cool where you get to see that, like on a, obviously a really, really big scale. It, I, yeah, I love to see the progress and I love also to see like, Oh damn, they really did kill that back in the days. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude, I still do workouts from like, like early, early opens, like 2000, like 11, 12, 13 were some of the scores, man. I'm like, dang, dude, <laughs> Those are some legit scores. <laughs> <laughs> like they smashed that one. Yeah. And and it you know, because people weren't as well rounded, you know. So it's yeah. like it through one. But like when you get to those workouts that are just like work, you know, it's uh like there's some <laughs> really fit people, <laughs> you know? Uh so it makes it so fun, yeah. man. We gotta cut this off soon. Okay. We're at fifty. We're at fifty minutes. Dang, time flies. All right. That Dude, was fun. we nice. haven't done we haven't done one in a in a minute, but I got some Dude, some good facts. Get going. I got some good that facts. That was fifty minutes. Yeah, we're at forty eight right now. Regress. I gotta find them. I got some good. All some right, good. Justin, good, hit us good. with the man. Hit us with the knowledge, no, baby. I got a couple, man. Hit us with the knowledge, man. There. That the grass Tyson, baby. Come on. The earth is flat. Don't do me. Ah. Don't do me like that, Dallas. All right, all right. I'll start out with one for a question for you. So, his name's Mark Robber. Um, I'll send it to you, Dallas, so you can put it up and play the and we'll play the video. So he's like, you tie a string around the whole earth, all the way around, and come back. Mm -hmm. And he's like, if you wanted it to be two feet off the ground, all the way around, how much more rope would you have to add? Wouldn't you have to? Would you have to double it? No, would it go down too? Would it go down too? Are what do you mean down? Like, 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 would it go underwater two feet off the ground? No, just no, like, just like, like, like the, the, let's picture the Earth as mm -hmm. like a circle. You just go so all the way around, and now you just want to make it two feet, and you just go two so feet up all mountains over. and everything. But like, just picture think it like, think a of smooth, like a smooth, perfect circle, like a like a like yeah. a pool ball. Yeah. Hold on. So you do it. You you tie a string all the way around. Yep. And now you want to do, make another string, and when it's it goes around the higher. whole earth, it's going to be two feet off the ground now. So how much more string do you need? Mm -hmm. I don't know the distance Just take a guess. Uh, yeah, I say double. I would say double. What do you think? I have no idea. I just have no idea total distance. Dude, it's 6.28 feet. Just that much more? Yeah. Hold on. How much string do you need? What? Another six feet. No way. That is crazy. Yeah. Why? I don't know. He he, he, he <laughs> describes it in the video. Here, Hold on, so how here. much? We'll, we'll cut this yeah. part out, but you can... You can is the craziest fact I know. Imagine I just finished tying this rope all the way around the world, but I just found out it was supposed to be a foot off the ground the whole way. So how much more extra rope would I need to make that happen? Now you might be thinking double or even triple, but what if I told you you'd only need to buy this much more extra rope, 6.28 feet. And what's even crazier is if you did this round of basketball, it would be the exact same amount. Now the math isn't that complex, and you can see here the trick is, regardless of the radius, it always works out to two pi, or 6.28. Now if math isn't your thing, don't worry, because if we just pretend Earth is a square, it will be immediately obvious. So if this is my initial rope, and then I raise it off the Earth by one foot, you could see in each corner, I only need two extra feet, so eight feet total. And you'd still get the same answer if you tried it on your TV. Eight extra feet for a rectangle, which is pretty dang close to the 6.2 extra feet wow. needed for a circle. Dude, that's kind of wild, that's huh? Cool. Pi? I was watching it. Matters? Like, Pi dang. matters, bro? What? <laughs> that's kind of crazy, though, huh? That's tight. That's cool. Yeah. Dang. Okay, I got I got another, like, this is a, whoa, this is a fact one. That uh, is a good Jurassic man. Park theme. But anyways, right. <laughs> here we go. If Earth's 4.5 billion year old history were condensed down into 24 hours, right? Uh huh. Makes sense. Dinosaurs would show up at 10:24 p.m., vanish at 11:41 p.m., humans would arrive at 11:58 p.m., and all of human recorded history, that's just the last three seconds. Dang, bro. For real? Yeah. And it's late in the hour, dog. Like, we're talking PM off the rip. Dude, sort of PM off the, the rip. The last three seconds, though, is just our recorded history. How long is that total? 
That's like what three hundred years more. We got more. How much? I I don't know. I don't. I'm not doing the freaking calculations on that. But a blip. That's crazy. Just a little. Mm. Yeah. Three seconds, bro. Three seconds is too short for a lot of stuff, bro. That's wild. And you're looking due south. You take your hand and draw a line from due south okay. directly overhead to due north. You do that. Okay? Okay. That line has a name. The meridian. Okay. Everyone has a meridian, and it goes directly over their head, connecting due south to due north. Okay. The sun, when it rises, works its way towards your meridian. It's coming, coming from, from the, the east, east, right? And it'll cross your meridian. Right. Go to the other side of your meridian and right. then set. Okay. Do you know what AM stands for? Um, AM, uh, after midnight. Anti-meridian. Anti-meridian. Before the meridian. Right. And so then PM must be post- Post-meridian. Meridian. It's where we get AM and PM from. I thought AM was after midnight. <laughs> 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 Damn. Bro. <laughs> Not post midnight. <laughs> That's tight. After morning. That's how I always used Damn. to say it. Uh, did you cut yet? Okay. That's it. <laughs> Yo, everybody doing quarterfinals. Get good with luck. us, bro. Yeah, good luck. Get yeah, with us. Smash it. We'll be releasing videos, having fun. We'll and be going live on the trip up there. Yeah, get active on, on social media for real. Yeah, I think we're bringing the equipment, right? Yeah, yeah we're, we're, hey, we're going to do on. some like, little some shows and stuff because if only did one workout a day, we got time. We got, we got time. time we'll talk about it. Have some fun. Yeah, get a bunch of people on. Anyways, yeah, yeah. peace.